So let us see one by one. What is the acceptance? Their viewpoint is more realistic. They, they believe that every situation in, in life is temporary. It's going to change. Today I'm going through a tougher situation, but it will change. They also accept the reality. They don't say, no, why it's happening to me? Right? They don't say, you know, why the problem is always coming to me? They know that it's, it's happening. The problems are happening. The challenges are there, but it will change. This is a temporary situation. Every situation in life is temporary. It's like a curve. Am I right? The positive or negative curve, you will see. And also, they will become the person of change they, they wish to see in the world. So if I'm seeing someone, I'm telling someone, no, you have to be like this, one, two, three. Then before that, I would make sure I am doing the one, two, three. Am I right? I am become good. I am become, I'll be healthy. I will talk with positive words. So if I want others to behave like this to me, first I will change. So that's something called be the change that you wish to see the world, see in the world. So first of all, they will accept and they will change themselves. The first one. The second one, the self-talk. Am I right? They will talk positive things. They will remove all the negative aspects. The mind will say, now I have to go and beat this guy. This guy has done so much bad to me. I cannot tolerate. What can I do? The mind starts thinking about him. Does it happen to you? Please tell me, does it happen to you? Somebody is cold, somebody, you know, um, talk bad about you. You come to home and start thinking about him. What should I do with him? How I can get rid of him? Right? You don't tell to anyone. You don't talk to anyone. You talk to yourself in your mind. Your mom and come and say, better come, let us have dinner. Mom, I'm tired. Mom, I'm not interested. Friends will come and uh, come, um, uh, let us go for uh, play. You know, we, we want to uh, have uh, fun, let us play. No, man, I'm not this, I'm tired today. You are tired because something is happening to you internally. Somebody scolded you, somebody, you know, made you down, somebody, you, uh, you know, took your self esteem, somebody behaved you disrespectfully to you. Am I right? Somebody said, you are not doing good, you, you, you are the cause of the problem. Because of you, it happened to me. So that makes you to worry about it. You start talking to you alone and think, why it happened? What happened? I'm, I'm not like this. This guy is done. What has to be? SubhanAllah, this is something where something called waswasa. Am I right? Waswasa. Satan is there in our each and everybody's, you know, blood in the veins. So he's going to come and tell, no, you have to make sure next time you have an opportunity, you have to hit him. You have to tell him he is bad in front of everyone. You know, you have to make him, you know, feel low. So Satan will come and tell you, you know, instigate you to do something which is not correct, which is not good. So if we make this self-talk as a positive thing, Yes, it happened, but inshallah, I can forgive him. Yeah, he did something mistake to me, but Allah loves forgiveness. Right? If somebody is doing wrong to me, still I forgive, Allah is going to reward me. Allah is going to forgive all my sins. So let me get out of this. So I go to today, but I'm going to sleep today without any negative thoughts, any negative you know, talk, any negative feeling about others. That's the best sleep I will have. Right? Because I don't have anything. I'm not carrying somebody in my mind. Somebody in my shoulder. So I'm very free. Am I right? So self-talk with positive energy. Not with negative thoughts, but with positive. Right? Third one, gratitude. What is, how we started? Hmm? If you are going to be grateful, I'm going to increase my reward. Am I right? That's how we started today the lesson. That is our opening statement. Am I right? Gratitude. If I'm going to be thankful, for sure Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is going to reward me much better. Gratitude has to be in both times. The time of good, time of ease, and time of testing. Am I right? 
what sulaiman al islam said what he said abdullah ibn rashid rabbi awzighni an ashkura ni'mataka alladhi annamta alayya wa ala walidayya wa an amala wa an amala salihan tardahu wa adkhilni bi rahmatika fi ibadika salihin what a great dua prophet sulaiman al islam made my lord enable me to be grateful he is asking the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam is asking allah subhanahu wa taala you know he is making dua ya allah make me to be grateful so we need to ask allah subhanahu wa taala to become grateful to him for what for the favor which you have bestowed upon me you have given me good and i am able to see others i have a good eye i can hear i can eat i can sleep i can breathe and what a ni'ma allah subhanahu wa taala has blessed how many people are not able to have food they are going to the bed in hunger allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is blessed with food this is the nima from allah so sulaiman is saying make me enable me to be grateful for the favor you have that and also not only for him he is saying for whom upon his parents and to do right righteousness of which you approve do good things which allah subhanahu wa taala approves allah subhanahu wa taala likes and he saying ya allah admit me by your mercy into the ranks of righteous servants so what is the what they talks about what do you mean by righteous servants it's about good company am i right ya allah make me with someone who is good who is having positive vibes so this dua is about both characters being grateful being gra- gra- grateful to allah subhanahu wa taala as well as asking allah subhanahu wa taala to put us with people who are with positive vibes with positive energy who are those people those are the people who are right is a servant of allah subhanahu wa taala so let us memorize this dua let us ask this dua if we want to create this positive mindset inshallah can we do that can all of you memorize and start reciting this dua to become grateful to become with the people of positive energy can you inshallah inshallah jazakallah khair ayan very good alhamdulillah what is the last the fourth one mindfulness what is mindfulness what is mindfulness remembering allah subhanahu wa taala always zikrullah morning and evening at the car prayer we, we, the, the modern world call it as, as meditation for for muslim the entire life is meditation am i right when we start the day we thank allah we remain we remember him with the right remembrance am i right we tell him ya allah today is blessed alhamdulillah we thank allah mindfulness <coughs> it's part of muslims every day life am i right because allah subhanahu wa ta'ala say remember me i will remember you if i become mindful and remember allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in each and everything i'm doing allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is going to remember me me and help me to create this positive mindset so mindfulness the, the, the fifth one is about my dear children is about good company there is a famous hadith which you all know about it am i right the good and bad company what prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam said the similitude of a good companion is like what like an owner of a musk so if you don't get anything you will get the smell of it so you have nice perfume your father has brought you know from bought you from uh, um, you know from dubai from kuwait so arabian or arabian delight whatever is you like that perfume so much so what will happen if you open that even even if you don't apply the the smell will make you feel good all right so it is something like having a good companion if they are there it is like they are owner of the musk even if you don't apply you will feel the smell of it you will see the positive energy and vibes around you that is a good company what about the 
bad companion it's like blacksmith if you are not affected by its black dirt you will be touched by its smoke yes i am away from the fire blacksmith what he does he works on this you know metal and gold and whatever it is right so he will be working with the fire so even the fire it may not touch you you say i am protected yeah i know this guy is bad but you know i am keeping a distance it's fine but even if you keep the distance the fire may not touch you but the, at least you will be touched by the smoke am i right you will feel that you are not able to breathe properly because there is a smoke so we need to be very careful in, in whom we are surrounded with if you want to create a positive mindset you know follow this beautiful hadith of prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam choose your friend carefully brothers and sisters because as rasulullah said a true believer is a mirror to his brother 